Tesla Model Y from Giga Texas will launch with 4680 battery cells, confirms Elon Musk. And we're also expecting the same happen, of course, with the Tesla Model Y coming from Giga Berlin. And also in this report, I'm going to tell you about first mega cast that will uh, change the Model Y for the better in a multitude of ways. And I'm going to tell you in which ways and also that rising gas prices influence Tesla and electric car purchases show surveys. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel and give us thumbs up, please. So Tesla CEO Elon Musk has confirmed that the Model Y produced from Gigafactory Texas would be launching with 4680 battery cells. The update was related to Musk in a recent interaction on Twitter. While discussing Gigafactory Berlin's Model Y program, Musk was asked by FSD beta tester and Model 3 owner Holmar's blog, who has been providing daily interesting updates on Twitter at uh, and on his uh, Twitter uh, page, um, if Austin would begin its Model Y producing using 2170 cells, like the vehicles being produced at the Fremont factory today, or if Giga Texas would jump straight to 4680 battery cells. Musk's response was brief, but it was direct, with the CEO confirming that Model Y from Austin would start producing with 4680 batteries. So here's what the whole Mars uh, catalog said. Will Austin start producing 2170 Model Y or jumpstart to 4680. So some huge front casting in Austin on YouTube. Elon Musk just wrote four digit number 4680. Direct answer. Musk's update bodes well for Tesla's vehicle production ramp in Gigafactory, Texas, and its ongoing 4680 battery ramp, writes Simon Alvarez from Tesla Radi, saying since battery day last year, Tesla has been quite conservative with its estimates about when its custom battery cells would be rolled out. This was highlighted in the quarter one 2021 earnings call when Elon Musk remarked that Tesla was about 12 to 18 months away from the volume production of its 4680 battery cells. Here is a quote that Musk said. This is just a guess because we don't know for sure, but it appears as though we're about 12, probably not more than 18 months away from volume production of the 4680. Now, at the same time, we're actually trying to have our sales supply of partners ramp up their supply as much as possible. So this is not something that is to the exclusion of suppliers. It is in conjunction with suppliers. So we want to to be sure, clear about that, Musk said. Interestingly enough, in the same earnings call, Elon Musk also noted that limited production of vehicles should start at Gigafactory Texas sometimes this year, with volume production hitting its stride uh, in 2022. Considering that Gigafactory Texas would be launching with the Model Y, it appears that the company is at least uh, to a point confident that its 4680 batteries will be ready for customer deliveries this year. That means this year, Tesla will probably start producing 4680 batteries in order to bring the Model Y into production with 4680 battery cells. The 4680 battery cells are Tesla's ticket to the mainstream auto market designed for rapid, easy production and optimized for power and safety, Tesla's 4680 batteries have the potential to change the electric vehicle landscape, says Simon Alvarez in Tesla Radi, and adds that the batteries play a big part of Tesla's goal of producing 20 million cars per year by 2030. After all, to achieve such a gargantuan goal, Tesla must have access to an equally massive number of cells. A good way to accomplish this would be for Tesla to help its suppliers by producing producing its own batteries. What do you think, friends? Uh, Simon Alvarez also says in Tesla Radi that there are numerous factors to consider when one is looking to purchase an electric car. That there is the specs, the range, the company that is building the vehicle, and so on. As the result of March 2021 survey shows, rising gas prices are also an apparent factor for consumers when they are deciding to purchase an electric vehicle.
this makes very good sense because last year and the year before when the t uh, gas prices were low uh, uh, during the Trump administration, I was thinking maybe not many people will be interested to buying electric cars because you could really do well with a uh, gas car with uh, that has lower, mi uh, higher mileage or a hybrid vehicle with, with like uh, mileage with 40 to 50 miles per gallon. Uh, but now that the prices of gas are going up, some surveys show that uh, people are, uh, this is an important factor for people to consider electric vehicles because, you know, it's becoming most co more cost effective now uh, in the backdrop of rising gas prices. So the United States recently experienced a gas crisis after Colonial Pipeline fell victim to a cyber attack. The disruption of Colonial Pipeline triggered notable uh, fluctuations in gas prices, resulting in numerous consumers buying large amounts of fuel in panic. You probably saw those videos. Colonial Pipeline operates have um, operations have since restarted, but average gas prices, gas prices still hit 3.02 uh, and nationally this week, the highest since 2014. What must be pointed out is that this will not be the last time that gas prices spike in the United States, and this could motivate more people to buy electric cars, concludes Simon Alvarez in Tesla Radi. According to the results of a survey conducted by car gurus on March 2021, the percentage of car buyers who consider electric vehicle uh, as their next vehicle rises as gas becomes more expensive. This means that the more expensive fuel becomes, the more buyers would like to uh, likely be open to an electric car. Among the survey's questions was an item that asked respondents what price per gallon would they consider buying an electric vehicle. At $4 per gallon, 26% of the survey's respondents stated that they would be much more likely to consider purchasing an electric car. At $5 a gallon, 57% of respondents said they would be willing to buy an electric vehicle. And it just goes out from there. But not all electric vehicle brands are the same. And this becomes evident in the Cargora survey too. As per the study's respondents, Consumers trust Tesla the most to develop electric cars. Respondents also rank Tesla as the company that they are most likely to consider when purchasing an electric car. That being said, 80% of respondents also noted that they are open to several brands when it comes to buying an electric vehicle, which should be encouraging to other car makers like Ford, which is now starting to roll out new electric vehicles. By the way, today, the President Biden will be at Ford's Rook Electric Center and he will deliver a spe speech about uh, electric cars. And this is going to be interesting to watch. So, and then the you can see the full uh, uh, report at Car Gurus, March 21. I will have the link in the description of this video. Well, friends, let me know what your thoughts are. I just forgot to say that the first mega cast for the Model Y has been built in Giga, Texas. This is the new cast that will be built around Tesla's new 4680 battery cells. And I say just said that it's going to be, uh, it's confirmed by Elon Musk. In my next report, I will probably talk uh, more about that and um, explaining the innovation behind mega casting the mega cast uh, um, and giga press so have a great day friends please subscribe to our channel this is armin harian from torquenews.com give us thumbs up please like this video share in social media that will help us tremendously and thus you will help to speed up the transition to electric vehicles have a great day peace be with all of you and see you soon in our next report